saw that some of you had went ahead and turned in your notebook, which um, is not quite right. So I wanted to review what goes into your virtual notebook and when to turn it in. So follow along. Here, um, I told you not to go ahead of the daily lesson plan, okay? Um, but some of you kind of jumped the gun there, so let's get you back on the right track. What you're gonna do is, for example, in today's lesson, I told you to go back and write into your virtual notebook. So you go back into day five, click onto your notebook, okay? and answer the lesson for today in your notebook. Now today you may have to add a page to your notebook. So this is how you'll do the add a page. You'll go, you can pick really any slide, but do something that's easy. So what I would do is just click on maybe something that's empty. And then I would um, duplicate slide, okay and then rename it so today's lesson um, that i would like you to do is called character characteristics and that would be day 10. character characteristics And then what you're going to do is create a text box, of course, here, okay? And you're going to list first your story idea. So I'm going to put my story idea is about a football player. Who is struggling to pass his classes and stay on the team? So that's my story idea. And now I have to give my football player some characteristics. So I'm going to say um, my football player's name is Max. And I'm going to think about what kind of person is Max. So Max is a fun, loving, 12-year-old. He... Large for his age. He may be, he's African American. And in this case, when you're story writing, um, our cultures definitely take a huge part, a part of our writing, just like we saw in seventh grade by Gary Soto. Um, Victor's ha Hispanic heritage played big in the, um, that particular story. So heritage and race does play a, a big part of storytelling and it makes us who we are. So this is my character so far and I also need to give him, I said that he was fun loving but I probably need to say some negative traits. So maybe he's quick to anger. And maybe he's got some self-confidence issues. You can go into greater detail here um, that this is just a short video again just trying to explain um, how day 10 in your notebook would be going 
I want to go back up and point out that um, most of these pages should be completed. If you are looking at this and saying, Ms. Crestfield, I am having problems with the Brain Pop video. I will also you'll find a Brain Pop um, login review for you. So that if, if you're missing a Brain Pop activity, you should be able to get that done if you watch that video. But this is for day 10 lesson. So after you've done day 10 and you've completed all your pages here in this notebook, you can, what should be seen by you as turned in, you can turn it in. Um, if all the pages have been filled, including this new one we added today. Okay. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask Miss um, Smith or um, whatever teacher is presenting to you. Um, I hope to speak to you soon.